Today I'll be uh, showing you how to uh, uh, set up and identify uh, duplicate files uh, and uh, delete them uh, in Puppy Linux. I'll be using a recent version of uh, Fossa Pup 64, but it should work similarly in all throughout the uh, Puppy Linux uh, distribution. Go to uh, Puppy Package Manager and just uh, go ahead and see if you do have uh, Dukes uh, already installed and mine is already installed. So we'll go ahead and get out of that. And we'll give it a Dukes and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the, some of the optional uh, switches. Uh, dash H help. So we'll go ahead and enlarge this. And then you can see that there are several switches that's available. Most importantly, that uh, we want to uh, add a, a negative R, small r, uh, because that will search all the subdirectories within the specified directory that we want to search for. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And we'll go ahead and open up a t another terminal. So F dupes. And then we're going to give it an R. And then you have to specify the uh, path. Uh, r uh, so in this case, we want to uh, scan the root folder, which I'm already in. So we'll go ahead and go ahead a uh, period, and then so this will s uh, search the root uh, directory and its sub uh, directors underneath. So we'll see what we get, and we'll just go ahead and enter and it's scanning so obviously if you have a large duplicate files it's going to take a while so it least lists all the uh, files so it's hard to see there's uh, many of them so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, we want to add a summarize uh, summarize uh, option so it's uh, a small uh, it's small m so we'll go ahead and add small m here and let it summarize so it's running it again calculating now uh, we can see there are 962 duplicate files so occupying uh, 72 megabytes what I do is go ahead and delete the duplicate files. So what we can do is we'll go ahead and add a D option which is here delete. So then what you will do what you get is a so you get a warning in this case that you cannot get a summarize uh, uh, option in there so we'll just remove it and then run it now it's giving you a choice so since there are many there are 300 sets of these duplicate files in this case in my case it gives you a choice of which one you want to save so normally I would go ahead and uh, save one and or in this case save all but I'll just go ahead and for uh, demonstration purposes we'll just save one and it's gonna delete the other one so as you can quickly see it's gonna be very repetitive because there are many many files that's deleted so I'll just get out of that with a control C and uh, what I tend to do is to go ahead and go ahead and uh, give it a flag of non-prompt so it's just gonna wipe it out wipe out the duplicate so it's only you're only going to be left with the one copy you do not have a choice of which copy you want to retain so I can we can go ahead and add n capital n to this flag now is the uh, is uh, somewhat dangerous at this point so let me now, what I would recommend at this point is before making a perm permanent change on your root uh, uh, folder, what I would uh, suggest 
is that what I tend to do is uh, uh, open up rock file or here this is at the level of root uh, root directory so we'll go up a level so now this is the uh, root directory here what I tend to do is save the whole directory in another partition so let's just go ahead and grab a partition and just make a copy of this the reason is we may be deleting very important duplicate files here which you may want to recover later so we're just gonna have it as a uh, uh, do this step as a precaution so before we permanently uh, delete the, all the duplicate files within this uh, root folder now we made a uh, complete uh, copy of a root folder directory to another uh, hard drive partition so now we can go ahead and uh, continue on so we're at a root within the root directory we uh, we will be removing duplicate files without having the option of picking whatever you want so we'll go ahead and so we're gonna search all the subdirectory and un uh, underneath the uh, root folder and then we're gonna delete it and we don't need we're not gonna be prompted for each uh, delete so that's the uh, capital N no prompt so we'll go ahead and do this and we'll go ahead and enter and it's gonna do its thing and you, there's gonna be no prompt so it will give you some idea which uh, of the two, fo two or multiple copies have been uh, uh, spared so you can see this one uh, is kept the other one identical files has been deleted so this is a quick summary so now we'll go ahead and get out of that and so this folder the root folder here at root level has no uh, files that uh, uh, has a duplicate so this is uh, just a quick uh, demonstration of um, how to uh, uh, delete uh, duplicate files in Puppy Linux using fdupes. I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks.